So I think now would be a good a time as any to talk about the conditions we put inside if statements, inside while loops, for loops, they all use conditions. So let's talk a little bit about those and the operators we can use inside those. Okay, so let's make a new class. I'm just going to call this one conditions. There we go. Uh, check that box. Good. Okay. Clear out this comment because I don't need it. And here we go. Um, so we have an if statement and this is how it works, right? Have here else. There we go. That's an if else statement. Okay. So how does this work? If, um, the condition in the, in these brackets right here is true. Uh, this executes if condition is true and else uh, this executes if condition is false okay so l let's talk about this right here this is our focus so what do we put in here um well earlier let's make an int my int equals 42 cool okay so if what do we put in here before? We can put if my int equals equals to uh, 42. Does that value to true? Remember, this is the equality operator. This is not this, which is the equals operator. This is not the assignment operator. Uh, so e equal, equal, there we go. 42, does that a value to true? Okay. Um, it does. And that's because f my int is equal, has a value of 42. So let's signify that by system dot out dot print line uh, true so if the condition evaluates to true uh, it's gonna print true in the console and let me just clear the console of anything I may have had there from earlier okay there we go and if line false let's make a capital F on that and I'm gonna make a set face because the condition is false. But if it's true, we're going to have a happy face. There we go. Um, yeah, so if the condition is false, it's going to print false. And if the condition is true, it's going to print true. So what does this print? This prints proceed true. That's good, because 42 should equal to my end, because my end is 42. OK, now what else can we put in here? So let me just start commenting out and listing what we had. We have is the e equals to and then what's the opposite of that that does not equal to that's an exclamation mark right there and an equal sign next to it so it does not equal to 42 how is this red this is red is it true that my int does not equal to 42 it goes here it looks at this my int is equal to 42 so this is not true it's false so we press play okay proceed false just like that okay Let's get some more. Um, the relational operators, the greater thans, less thans. I'm, I'm sure you've done this in math. Uh, greater than, greater than, less than. So how do we uh, work that? Let's see. Um, 42 is not going to work for this example. So let's put, is it uh, less than 9,000? Um, it goes, it checks, is my int 42, less than 9,000. And if so, it returns true. Okay, good. Let's do greater than, just for an example. Okay, so greater than. Um, proceed. There we go, false. It goes, it checks us 42 over 9,000. It's not. Okay, so let's do some more. Um, greater than or equal to. Greater than, great, I'll just say greater than GT or equal to and then we also have less than or equal to less than or equal to so let's see let's evaluate this on 42 um is this less than or equal to 42 um or rather greater than or equal to 42 yes it is because my int is greater than or it's equal to 42 it's actually equal to 42 that's why that evaluates to true and let's check less than or equal to six how about that okay proceed there we go it's false because my int 
is not less than or equal to 6. It's 42. 42 is bigger than 6. Okay. Now, let's get into the... Th these are the equality operators. Uh, these are the relational... Jeez, I'm going to start running out of room. And let's put in the conditional operators. Uh, th we have two conditional operators. We have what's known as AND, and that's signified by uh, two ampersands, just like that. And when it's written out, it's AND, all capitals. It's AND, not just AND, okay? Now we also have OR, not just OR, it's OR. There we go. Say it like you mean it, because it's all capitals. Okay, um, we have our conditional operators. There we go. Okay, how do these work? Um, let's start with OR. Or, sure, let's start with OR. And for this, I'm going to need another integer. So, I'm going to make another int. My int 2 is equal to... What's it going to be equal to? 73. Why not? 73 is a good number. Okay. So we have the OR operator here, and then my int is less than or equal to 6, or my int is less than my int 2. That works. Okay, so what's that going to print out for us? We have if my int is less than or equal to 6, which is false, we've determined that already, or if my int is less than my int 2, is 42 less than 73. That's true. So what do the or operator says? If one of these conditions returns true, if this returns true, or this returns true, both of these are true. And when I mean both of these, I don't mean both of these conditions, but rather th this whole condition is true. So if my int is less than or equal to 6 is true, or my int is less than my int 2 is true, the condition evaluates to true. That's what I meant to say. Okay? If both of these are true, great. Say we have greater than or equal to 6 right here. If both of these are true, no problem. Proceed. It still evaluates to true. Or if this is less than and this is greater than, then the condition evaluates to false because neither this one or this one is true. So both of these are false, whole condition's false. Now and, and works a little bit differently. How does and work? And requires both conditions to be true in order for the whole condition to be true. So currently this is false and this is false. My int is not, 42 is not bigger than 73, and uh, 42 is not less than or equal to 6. Both of these are false. It evaluates to false. What do you know? Okay. One of these is, now we have it so that one of these is true. So 42 is indeed greater than or equal to 6. Okay? That evaluates to false still. This is true. This may be true, but this is still false. And the AND operator says that as long as this is false... The entire condition is false. But if we were to change this to, say, my int does not equal to my int 2, and that is correct, 42 does not equal to 73, we put play. There we go. It's true. This is true. This is true. That's a good thing. Because the and operator says both of these are true. That means the condition is true. We get our smiley face. There we go. Those are the basics of equality, relational, and conditional operators as used in conditions in if statements, in while loops, for loops, wherever conditions are used.